Hey everybody. What I'd like to show you today is the two brand new models of AccuTac bipods. I'm going to compare them to the old models, just give you my general overview and thoughts on initial thoughts on these, and <laughs> put the cat away. <laughs> Alright, the cat's put away. As I was saying, I want to go over just a general overview, and then as well as go over the features and some of the differences from the old models. So in front of me, I've got the new FC G2. In the back here is the new BR4 G2. This is going to be the old FC10 and the old BR4. Uh, so I'm going to dismount these from their guns and we'll get to compare them. Alright guys, so let's start with the BR4 QD. Um, starting from the top down, this is the new one. Starting from the top down, the, the quick release lever is the same. Not much has changed there at all. But what has changed is almost everything else. <laughs> I'll bring it in closer so I can show you what I mean. So guys, AccuTag used to make a great product, and that's this original BR4. And in fact, now they make an even better product, the BR4 uh, QD, or sorry, G2. As I was starting out, you know, the quick release lever, it's, the quick release lever itself is the same, but one of the subtle changes you might notice is this here's got a thumb screw on it, whereas this one's got a screw going through. So in order to make this adjustment, you push it out like that, you release the, the lever, push through, and then give it a twist, set it back in until it reaches those grooves, and then try it out. On top of that, the base right here, the angle of the legs, that hasn't changed, as well as the way the legs attach with this big, uh, with this big bolt here, the spring tension, uh, that seems to be the same, maybe a little stronger on the new legs, I'm not sure, maybe they changed that up. Um, but the legs themselves are obviously different. BR4 original, no adjustment, uh, small feet, no adjustment, uh, milled out in here for weight. New legs are a lot thicker, a lot wider, and they have adjustments. Um, also, the feet have been enlarged, and I'll spin this off. This little cup right here is meant to kind of spread the, the strain out from a recoil on a rifle, whereas the old BR4, all you've got is this small brass threaded foot, and so it's taking all that strain every time you fire a shot. So moving up the legs to the hub. The original hub had this um, thumb screw with the, the winged thumb screw here. And if you can see, my hand, I don't have very big hands, and I'm kind of running my knuckles into the screw here or the nut here, and I'm running my thumb, my knuckle here, I'm running it in, into this. So it's kind of tight in there. Um, for someone with even bigger hands, you know, this could be a little tedious almost, you know. And the way this works is tighten this down and it puts tension on a post going through. And that allows you to tilt back and forth. It's a good system. It works well. The new system is totally different. Instead of having this thumb screw, now you've got a lever. And what that lever does is it puts tension uh, through this slot and kind of clamps everything together. So when that's loosened up, there's your pivot. There's your tilt, back and forth. Then you just tighten that down. And a little something, if you don't like this sticking out this way, you give it a pull, and you can set it to a different spot. Just that easy. And that's it for the BR4 uh, G2. All right, so now I'm gonna beat up on their new model because what would a reviewer be if it actually show you the cons as well as the pros? I'm loving everything about this so far. It's, I know it's going to do obviously more than this, just that right there does more. Stronger, better, and always, but the price you pay for that is that it's heavier. You don't just have a solid leg, you've got an outside leg and an inside leg, and all this mechanism down here, it adds to the weight. I don't know what the official weight is yet, and I don't have a scale to measure it, 
but I can tell just by picking up the two, this one's heavier. So if that's important to you, well, I don't know what to tell you, because this is all they're gonna, <laughs> this is all they're gonna offer for the future, for going on from here on out. Moving on in the beat, beat it up category, um, kind of running out of stuff really. There ain't much to complain about this, guys. I think this is a big improvement over the original um, in every way except weight. I just, that's it. Moving on, let's take a look at the FCG2 versus the old FC10 QD. Uh, from what I understand, I think they're all their new models are coming with, with quick release uh, mechanisms. But here's the FCG2. I'll bring it in close, we'll go over some of the differences. All right guys, here's the new BR4G2. This is their big model. This is their model with the most features. And it's um, one of the more expensive ones. Um, compared to the old FC10, which this is a direct replacement for, compared to the old FC-10, the legs are shorter, but these legs extend. Now the old legs extend too, and quite a bit, but I don't know, maybe they got feedback from shooters saying, I don't need all this. Give me something a little shorter, give me more options, and I'd be happier with that. So, out they came with this. I'm a fan. Almost straight out of the gate, I'm a fan of this. On the back side, you can see more how everything works. They took the BR4 um, tilt mechanism, and the legs, by the way, same exact legs on the BR4, but they took this tilt mechanism and they added it to their already designed hub. So now, you've got um, pan and tilt, or cant. This is a huge upgrade for, um, for AccuTac as this is the first time they've uh, offered both things in one hub. And I think it's great, and I'm really, really glad to see that they did it. One more thing I took notice of when comparing these two models is I looked at the attachment point for the legs versus the height of the Picatinny rail. Now you can see that's pretty, that's pretty close to level, which means the bottom of your Picatinny rail is basically level with these, uh, with, with the pivot point of the legs. With the new one, it's different. They had to add all this mechanism to give it that tilt feature. If you take a straight edge across the new one, you can see that the bottom of the clamp mechanism is about an inch higher than the pivot point of the legs. This is why I think that's a big deal, having that height difference. One of the things that drove me nuts about this FC10 QD is it's a quick release, but in order to really release it, you always had to twist it, and then it would come off. Now for yours, it might be different. You might not have had this problem, but for me using this on this rail, it's sticky. It doesn't always want to come off unless I twist the legs like that. And I can't just undo it because the quick release runs into the center hub. So it's kind of a kind of pain. And it made it so that I would pick another bipod over this one when I went to grab it because I don't want to be sitting here messing around with a bipod trying to get it on and off. I just want to put it on and go shoot. The new one, with all things being straight, so with all things being straight, no till, no nothing like that, this now clears the legs. So you can grab it and just slap it right on. Oops, <laughs> gotta lock that down. So you can grab it and just lock it right on and you're done. It's a lot like the BR4, quick to attach, quick to detach. I like that. It's a small detail that means a lot. The next difference this makes is kind of in the stability platform. If you look at this, and you think of it as a triangle, okay? You want stability. The wider that triangle is, the more stable, okay? A narrow triangle, it's gonna tip easier. Also, where your center of gravity is, or your rifle, in that triangle, the lower it is, kind of the better. 
an old model, you can see it's kind of cradled in here. You made a triangle, it's kind of it's kind of sucked down into that triangle real nice. The new one, it's a little bit higher. I'd say about an inch. <laughs> now it's a little bit higher than in you know in regards to that stability thing. Now that being said, it's stable. I mean it's not, I mean I'm not shooting in an earthquake or anything, so I'm not too concerned about that. Like I said, I think this thing's gonna be an outrageous bipod. But that's one of the other differences that I that I picked up on in comparing the two. Next I'll take a look at this from the shooter's perspective. Uh, I do a lot of bench rest shooting, so this is kind of my, my setup, is sitting behind my gun on a bench. So if I need to tilt because my level's telling me I'm off, really easy to reach this lever and give it a tilt, get it all set up just perfect how I want it, and lock it in place. Now let's say I had set a flashlight or something mounted over here. And if this lever here was kind of interfering with it, all I have to do is pull back on the lever and spin it around, and now it's out of the way. Um, so I can leave it like that, I can make it so it, you know, up is my lock point, or whatever. Uh, the point is, I can get it out of the way. Maybe I just don't like the way it looks. Kind of like this one, sticking forward, I don't like the way it looks. Easy to reach, as from the shooter's perspective, it's arm's length away, and my arms aren't that long. And now I've got all the pan I need. I lock it in place, and then, oh, I don't like the way it looks. I can put it wherever I want it. One more thing to note, guys, if, if that height is a concern of yours, and you really want these longer legs, uh, the LR10 G2, it's gonna be available, as well as the SR5 G2. And they're basically like the BR4, where they only have the tilt, but they have the longer legs. In fact, the LR10 is going to keep, I believe it's going to keep these same legs, the really, really wide ones. And the SR5 is going to have different legs now. They're going to be the same as these, except longer. So if that's a concern of yours, there you go. They've got that option too. Also, some of the notes is since... AccuTac may be so that all the legs are interchangeable. You could pick up something like an LR10 or an SR5 uh, G2, as well as the uh, FC G2, and you'll have, let's see, <laughs> you'll have obviously this one, and obviously this one, not this one, um, the shorter hub model, the tilt model of the LR10, but then if you swap the legs out, you'll have this model with the pan and the tilt and the long legs, and you'll end up with a BR4 as well. So you buy two bipods, you end up with four because you can swap the legs all around. <laughs> it's cool stuff. So there you have it, guys. There's the quick overview and review of the highlights and some of the features and differences of the new FC G2 and BR4 G2. If you're interested in these, you can head on over to the AccuTech uh, website and check it out online, or head on down to your favorite retailer and say, hey, I want this. Get it for me. <laughs> As always, guys, happy shooting, and thanks for watching. What I've got to show you today is the brand new AccuTech bipods. Don't do that. And these are the two major differences between them. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Would you like to see? <laughs> You're killing me. You want to go top? Yeah. You do. All right. So now with, the, with this on, and that falling down,